Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to Cataclysmo. It's episode 5. This will be the last episode of this mini-series because I don't believe I can hold on with the resources that I have. Um, nor can I hold on with the resources that YouTube is giving me. Now, don't worry, the YouTube channel itself is not in trouble. Um, it is this particular series that's doing very, very poorly, as you can see by the screenshot on the screen right now. Um, beyond that... <laughs> we have issues in the game. I don't have enough military. I have an enormous amount of territory to defend. And as we've seen, they start to come in from every single angle at this point. Now, I would very much like to try and acquire different resources, or rather, <laughs> extra patches of resources. But it seems that this map is rather barren, except, of course, for this little outpost that we have. This does help, but the travel distance is very long. And because of that, your income, I don't know, it, it seems like that might be a factor why it's not that high. Now, thankfully, I can upgrade them. So that helps. Um, I believe I have already upgraded that one to a master quarry. I'm going to do the same thing here. It's going to increase the output a little bit. As for my forces, um, force one or team one, if you want to call it that, it's uh, rather reduced to uh, nothing. It's two lobbers, the archer, and iris. That's it. I'm going to try and get a little bit of wood. But I'm not even sure if I can get any. The air trader. Well, yeah, we'll just have to buy some wood there. And then get the barracks to craft out or to churn out, let's say, two more archers. The situation here is pretty grim. We have one archer defending the place. Over to our eastern flank, we do have a decent force. That is what was left of Team 2. So, yeah, that's a start. That's a start. Also, I believe you guys have pointed out that I put these things uh, in reverse. <laughs> I put them on backwards. I wouldn't be surprised. Because, I mean, this makes sense, right? Uh, putting them up like that. So, this thing arguably should be the other way around. But... Honestly, I'm not too sure how these things are supposed to get placed down. Because this doesn't make sense. The Merlon is pointing the wrong way. I guess I'll just have to use these if I want to make it look halfway decent. Yep. That, however, is most likely not really the problem. As, of course, they're able to break through several walls. And they tend to do that more often than I like. This means that these walls are getting uh, rather problematic to defend. Also... As I uh, use this as, let's say, my own tutorial-esque series, this whole playthrough has been kind of riddled with things that I now go, huh, that was not the best idea. <clears throat> Putting it mildly, that was not the best idea. So right now, I would do things differently. I would build different walls. Um, I would probably not even play on this map because it is so extremely wide so extremely hard to defend. Normally, the game gives you, well, say, a bit more defensible territory. And because it didn't do that, I have made it quite difficult for myself just by accepting this map and going with it. He who knows when to fight and not to fight will always be victorious. Well, I didn't exactly know when not to fight. And now here we are. We do at least have a couple of archers ready. So, what? We're under attack already? Not here. Okay, we know that they're coming in from there. And from there. Okay, so where are they at? Here. Let's address that. They are already making pretty good headway on this wall. Anyway, this means that the team over here can get down to the skeleton crew of just having one archer. You guys are going to go right back here. This is where I will need you. The other team, if you want to call it that, team one, heads back over here. Where by the looks of it, we'll have an, uh, <laughs> an interesting time defending the already battered and bruised wall. I'm just going to try and patch it as best as I can with the few resources that I have. At least the game is kind enough to give you the option to pause. And, of course, to start building right before night time. So that at least you know which wall you do need to bolster and which one you can 
Well, maybe not ignore. But which one takes second priority? Putting it graciously like that. See, normally I would build these walls more like this. Uh, like two, 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 two. But at the moment, I'd be happy if I just have a wall at all. We'll just have to see where they come. Try to blob them up there. Uh, and that means blobbing up my defenses there too. And pushing them back out. Put this here, here. Turn that. And I do apologize to the more veteran players who are looking at this going, what the hell are you doing? Uh, this is definitely not a great wall to build. Don't do what I do. And I'm really quite disappointed that this series didn't do as well. Um, of course, I'm not blaming you as a, a current viewer because, well, I mean, you're actually here. You're actually watching, but many others have decided not to, sadly. Let's see. I can probably use this bit to block this off. Because last time around, they just bypassed the walls. Which I think cost me some troops back then. There we go. We're getting the reinforced. There you are. Only these pieces here aren't reinforced yet. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if the AI wouldn't know that. Okay. There's one bit missing here. Yep. But look at the length of that wall. <laughs> and we'll have to defend all of it. If they do decide that they want to come through here... Um, <laughs> I think that's fair. I think that's fair. They can definitely do that. And I would not really have a whole lot that I can do against it, unfortunately. All right, so let's start posting some archers up on the walls. Uh, let's put you here and you here. It is really convenient that these archers can just bypass each other without any concern or uh, issues as to whether or not they can pass each other. You're going to stand here. You're going to stand here. Maybe I can still upgrade these walls just a smidge. Go with a couple of tactical pieces, like one there. Oh, they can't even get there. My bad. Flag, flag. Let's make sure that this thing gets its block back. And this thing too. Here we go. Now, as for getting over there, let's just add a staircase like that. Oh, crap, they're not even in position yet. Okay, well, this is going to get very interesting. Give me a top-down perspective. Yeah, now they're coming up to the walls. There we go. Here are the runners. I feel like we might be able to hold off the first wave. It's that second-ish wave that might be more problematic. That's the wave that tends to do me in, simply by the numbers. But this time around, at least I was able to call quite a few of them before they got to that point. Uh, no, give me two more archers. Oh, they're breaking in. You, relocate. You're going to stand there. You're going to go here, you're going to take that point, you're going to go there. There's the centaurs. Under attack. Yes, I know. Crap. Oh, that's one down. Get out. Don't stand and wait there. I'm lucky these guys are just taking their sweet time trying to go through the walls. Over here, they have gone through the walls. So let's send part of the defensive force as a roving unit. Because I need to make sure that they don't push in too much farther. Come on, gentlemen. You know what to do. They do still have a roving party here. I think, yeah, they killed a bunch of my military. Post you high. Well, at the moment, I'll post you wherever I see fit because it's not going to go well. I'm not sure why these guys are taking their sweet time just molesting the walls as they are. 
considering that you can just pester the more critical buildings, I think that would be a better use of their time. We will prevail. Are we still under attack then? Are we really under attack? Where? Oh! There's somebody in the shadow that I can't see yet. Yeah, one little feeble vermin. There you go. Job done. Okay. So that's one more wave defended. Um, and I still don't have enough points to do... Well, actually, I don't have points to do much of anything. I can get the powder ball. They can lob an explosive ball. Dealing moderate AoE damage. Um, what do I need? I got plenty of citizens. I don't really have enough military capacity. The Masonry Guild is going to give you various upgrades. I might need to get... Where is... Where is the warehouse? Because I can't build it yet. So it has to be unlockable. The warehouse does come with a couple of upgrades for the various buildings that I'm currently having. Here we go. The warehouse, for example, allows you to upgrade them and make sure that they do more efficient work. So that's something I definitely want to see. As for the buildings right now, I think that the buildings we have right now can, of course, get upgraded. That would be very handy to have. Um, yeah, here we go. This is the culprit. This is outside of my sphere of influence, and they just keep doing that. Unfortunately, these timers seem to always go by way faster than you'd like. So, with just a 41 income... It's not going to take me... Actually, I can use the trader. Where's the trader? Here. Buy wood? Uh, no, 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 no. This one. That needs to be connected. There you go. <clears throat> so, they took down part of the wall there and there. Over here, they took again bit of the wall down there. Not great, but I've had worse. Can we put down another quarry here? Not yet. I need 75 wood. I'm not there yet. Okay, what I have heard people say is that you can actually place these down on top of the resource. At least that seemed to be implied by the comment. I want to see if that's actually possible. Because that would make it a whole lot easier to get a good amount of income out of them. Because 10 and 2? It's not spectacular. No, it says not enough space. But... What if you put them, like, on a couple of ramps? Would that work? Like getting a couple of these stone blocks in? These ones, the half arches, or even the, the big arches, but I don't think I have those unlocked yet. This one. I'm not sure if that would work. Not enough space, yeah. Would that actually allow you to place down a quarry? You'd probably need three of them. And I'm just at the edge of my ability to build things. So let's just put that there. Fairly well knowing it'll get destroyed anyway. Um, as for my capability of upgrading, the warehouse is going to take 120 wood. So we'll have to still upgrade. Oh crap, I only got the upgrade for the quarries, not for the mills. Oh boy. At least I can get another sawmill. Um, and of course we're going to have to get more vision here. Let's get on that. We're already getting close to approaching nighttime, so that's promising. Okay, so now I should be able to get another one of those. Is that actually something you can put, no, not a sawmill, <clears throat> a quarry on top of? That's a better than average chance that they'll just try and break it down. Too close to other gatherers. Yeah, you can. You can. Okay, that's interesting. Nice little experiment. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to have to get more troops. At the moment, I simply don't have nearly enough. 
And we're already approaching that. Uh, oh my god, it's almost time phase. Yeah, that. I have four troops here, and my stone is already massing up. Let's get the wall back. They don't seem to try and approach through there. Much, that is. Yeah. They cannot get built in the mist, of course. Hmm... I'd rather build these in a sort of overlapping position, so at least I feel a little bit more secure. Not sure if that's actually a thing or mostly make-believe. No, that'll not fit. God, this is not an <laughs> not a very pretty wall. And also, they just keep breaking through. Alternatively, I could go a very, very different route. Go with a big tower. Just something that deploys a lot of firepower. Oh, actually, I don't even know if they're going to try and break through this side. They're not. They're going to come east in one massive wave? Oh, sorry, south. Really? Interesting. Yeah, they're not attacking from here at all. Okay. In that case, we're going to pour resources into building something a little bit more spectacular here. Because I can. So, let's make it good. I'm going to go for a tall tower. The higher the tower, as far as I believe, the more benefits you'll be getting from them. Unfortunately, I don't have windows unlocked yet. I would very much like that. Because windows, of course, do allow you the simple way of being able to shoot out the window and then build another layer on top of it. Sadly, I cannot do that. Um, means I'll have to get a little creative, I guess. I'll just remove that. What? Oh, there's a flag in the way. Yes, yes, I know you don't like that. Uh, build that, build that, put a layer on top. And then over here we can put some merlons. No, we need more. Yep, merlons. So this is going to be a sort of extra tower bit. Nope, this has to be a round one. There. That one's redundant. Um, over here, we're going to build another layer. And if I do this properly, I can probably get away with having one of these. Or actually, maybe two halves. Yeah, it's going to have to be probably two halves. Oh, I should have built it slightly bigger than that. Because now I kind of screwed myself over. Fine. Yes. We'll do it another way. You guys go over there. This damage booster is not in a good spot anymore. So we'll have to relocate that. Just put more f more gates there. More, uh, more layers, if you will. And then build this up. So they can reach that. And now I can have even more troops sit up over there. That's the plan. In order to get there... Um. Wait, who's trying to get there? Huh? Mm -hmm. Are you guys trying to get here? No. Oh, it's team one. Team one that's been mostly decimated. That's trying to get there. Okay, well, so with that out of the way, I can probably just build out a little extra position here. And be able to build a small staircase without taking up a whole lot of space where the troops will sit. So use this. Oops, not there. And like that. And... Uh, how do I make this decent? Smaller. Then use an arch like that. There we go. 
So you guys can now sit up here, and we can actually have a second layer. That was the plan. They too should be getting a defensive bonus. Unfortunately, I am fresh out of stone. Go on. Good work. Okay, so these two have pretty decent range. And these also get the pretty decent range. Unfortunately, no damage output or no damage bonuses. Oh, and I completely forgot to fix up my wall. Uh, this is going to get really rough. Because I cannot really defend that wall. I do have another archer. Let's get you up here. Here we go. Everybody can now engage these positions. They're also getting hit by the spikes. I can try throwing down a bunch of spikes here, but will that be enough to stop them? It'll delay them. I think that's about as good as I can hope for. Here comes the next wave. Centaurs. Really happy they only pushed in from one side. It would have been a lot more difficult if they started pushing in from two sides, because I simply don't have the troops for that. Get over here. Start helping. Oh boy. Abominations. So those are basically walking spawn points. Oh crap, you fell down? Yeah, because my walls are built so shit that they're bound to fall down. These- holy shit! Shall we not? Oh no. <laughs> Fall back! This part of the wall's coming down. And they just keep doing that. Yeah, I think we're- <laughs> we're properly fucked now. Yeah, there goes another archer. And unless I attack these mobile spawn points, they will just keep doing this, right? I might be getting some critical hits. Oh, even the Citadel's under attack now. Yeah, they'll they'll get me. Because I simply cannot fall back here. That part, there you go. Yep. You might not want to let it out like this, but here we are. Medium difficulty. And unfortunately, the end. Again, really quite sad that it had to end like this. And this is, um, well, it's a series I would have liked to continue a bit longer. But it's just not economically feasible, unfortunately. So thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you for that. And I hope to see you in another video for another series. Thank you for watching. See you soon for more.